Well, hello there, and welcome to another reaction video of me, Zell, or as Gazelle on YouTube here. We will be watching another What If episode today, exploring the other possibilities that could have existed in alternate timelines or dimensions or what have you. And today, episode three will be What If? The world lost its mightiest heroes. That indeed is a good question to ask. And I'm very curious. I just reading the quick synopsis and it's like, what if there's like a serial killer taking out all these heroes? I'm like, like we usually have like these villains in place and a lot of them typically are like specifically towards one individual. Like you killed my family, you killed my father, you stole my lover something like that. And there are some that are like anti-Avengers, but I'm curious to see how this plays out. Should be interesting. We got a little quick thumbnail of Nick Fury, so he's clearly gonna be involved. So uh, I hope they're not insinuating that Nick Fury is the serial killer, cause that would be whack, but cool. Anyways, I hope you guys are liking this show. I sure am. So let's uh, get to it and see what it's about. What if Star Wars met? Marvel. There was an idea. Huh. Stark may be eccentric. That doesn't look like Scarlet you. much. Just one time I actually I got it. Hit him. What'd she just do to me? What did we just do? It beats the symptoms. Stark. You okay? Oh. He's dead. Humanity. Wow. So wow. Wow, so Tony Stark's dead. Thanks for uh, letting us relive that experience. Sir, Coulson! I'm in the middle of something here, Cole. Someone inside S.H.I.E.L.D. compromised Stark's antidote. Ooh. I need someone on the outside. This is intriguing already. Here, mind holding these for me? Of course. What? Sure she can land a punch, but only because people don't expect it. I mean, pays off, doesn't it? Oh, snap. Powerful. Is it Hawkeye gonna kill him now? These are either really good voice actors for the main characters, or are they actually voicing it? No one can lift it. Not even Jackson. And he does CrossFit. Something that powerful goes missing. <laughs> Yikes. Really great hair. Excuse me? He's gorgeous. I need eyes in the sky. Oh. Wilson wasn't lying about the hair. <laughs> Damn it, Mark! I didn't shoot. Your arrow would indicate otherwise. Oh, I. Mark. <gasps> Mark. Colson, get a minute. How did he die? We're running a talk screen. But I also have a space corpse that looks like a Chippendales dancer riding on the next table over. Oh wow. no. Wow. Even while rotting, he smells like lavender. So there's not a lot connecting <laughs> what in the world. It looks to me like a tiny projectile of some kind was fired from the needle. You're thinking. Is it Ant Man? I'm a biologist, not a ballistics expert. He's gonna find Hulk, huh? I think I already have. I, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in there. No need for violence, Agent Romanoff. That's probably not gonna work out Aww. for anyone. Oh snap. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. What a shot. Does talk background anyone? Oh. Oh no. Who's coming? Was it Loki or Dad? Oh. Came with bogies. They look like they're from Earth. Oh. Middle Earth. Ha. <laughs> I am Loki, Crown Prince of Asgard, the rightful king of God of. <laughs> Mischief. Are you gonna take that? Does he know what a phone is? Oh my gosh. Ooh, girl. Oh my gosh. No. That's horrifying. Very well. You have until the next rise of Midgard's sun, or I will reduce this planet to ash and ice. Holy crap. And they're just going, I mean, he's got the whole army behind them. 
It's not Coulson, is it? I don't want it to be. Steve, Steve, Steve. I heart Steve. 0704. Wow. <laughs> Good one, Coulson. Uh, what? Nothing. I feel like Ant Man because he's just small and able to do things, but like, what would. In Is the invisible ah! woman? What the heck? It's all about hope. Hope. Why is that name familiar to me? <gasps> Marvel? There's a lot going on here. I'm not quite keeping up, but. Oh, hope is the. The wasp? The balls you have. Okay. She died because of you. Oh my. Hope Van Dyne was killed on a mission. Don't play the fool with me, Fury. You He's crazy. You took everything from me. I wanted you to hurt everything so you I was ever worked for. Close, small. Hope for. <laughs> wow. Smack that bug. Okay, Nick. Oh, wait, it's Loki, isn't it? Wow. Wow. What? In just one day's time, the nations of Earth have put aside their defense and united under my command. The bright view of freedom hobbles you, diminishes your Okay, Loki. To be ruled. Because there's no Avengers. As long as oh yeah. There, good eye, I was gonna say there's got to be others, Captain and Captain so, Marvel. Where's the fight? American Marvel. Yay! Well, nice. I like that one. Um, that was yeah. Hope in two ways. I'm like, why is that name so familiar? And I'm like, all right, yeah, that, that makes sense. That is the daughter of Hank. Um, and it wasn't Ant Man. Which makes sense, and Hank, Hank would have more reason, because that's usually when you would find, when someone has such a vengeance, you know, it feels like it's vengeance when they're killing specific people, like, you know, so brutally, and I don't know where like that. And it was, and uh, I guess he didn't feel that his daughter was doing it for a purpose. He lost his daughter and his wife, so that sucks. Uh, but really, really cool episode, really interesting concept. And it just goes to show that just a couple actions can change the complete direction of things. And of course, of course, Loki would take up the, take advantage of the opportunity. There's no one here to counter me. All these Avengers, all these powerful people take care of, so uh, that's my chance. Uh, how interesting to be to rule over all of Earth. You know, he's like, oh, all the world powers are now uh, under my command. But yeah, really cool concept. Loki comes down. Um, he's got the whole, I guess he's got a leader at this point. He's got all the other warriors behind his back in the army. And then seeing all the ways these uh, heroes die. Wow, what a, like all of them were just like shocking in their own way. Like this injection that's supposed to help Tony and then he gets to put and uh, I think uh, Hulk wins the day, Bruce Banner for the death because he gets exploded from the inside, which is terrifying and horrifying. They didn't really show the aftermath, which thank you. Uh, big green, green blobs, but also normal human body stuff. Thor died by an arrow to the to the heart, not in the knee. I don't think he died from a knee knee shot. And then uh, Romanoff died in battle, so she had the most most expected like uh, I can do something. Like she was able to fight back, where the others didn't really have a chance at all. So intriguing. Uh, really fun that they used um, Loki to be Fury, and you knew something was off. So she's like, I don't care about any of them. And I mean. I'm like, maybe in this world, Nick's like, is an Avenger and he's like a superhero and he has abilities, but he was doing things that <laughs> like, whoa, we'd never seen him fight like that before. So that was a fun little move. But and in the end, we had Captain America and Captain Marvel, him trying to have them, which they're, you know, Captain America is a really great leader, um, a movement driver, and obviously Captain Marvel's OP. So there's that. But yeah, I, ha I thought this was a really fun episode. I thought it was a fun concept. It felt like very much a short movie, like bam, 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 all the things happen, climax, and then everything working out kind of in the end. It ended like a Marvel movie, right? On a cliffhanger. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this and this reaction review. The show has been a lot of fun and I'm excited for the rest of the episodes and who else they're gonna highlight in the show. Um, yeah, kind of curious what direction they could go with it.
yeah anyhow thanks so much for watching guys and supporting you know we're gonna keep watching this and waiting for the next stuff to come out um excited for you know i guess there's not really going to be any more marvel shows this year because everything's getting pushed and postponed i think hawkeye's delayed and i think the star wars show is gonna be the soonest coming up and we think we have visions and we also have book of boba in the end of the year so we'll trek along find some stuff to continue to watch through and react to otherwise hope you guys are all doing well, staying healthy. And if you are wanting to hang out and absorb some other stuff, I also again stream on Twitch if you want to check that out sometime. If you're not able to obviously watch live, there's also like the back VODs on the Twitch channel that may not be on the YouTube channel. So check that out if you're interested. Um, I also recently did a podcast episode. I guessed it on They Fly Now podcast. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in checking that, we discussed it was it's a pretty long episode. So keep that in mind. It's about three hours. Um, but we were talking about the rise and fall of Anakin. So if you're interested, check that out. We were discussing, went through a series questions basically from um, Phantom Menace all the way up to Vader's death. So some interesting um, ideas being brought about. We all kind of had similar perspective, but also different on certain topics um and i know i had some revelations when just hearing some thoughts and things came to me so anyways check out that podcast episode if you're curious about discussing anakin and the rise and fall and on that note thanks again guys and i will see you on the next one